Day. Two drivers making their career debut. One of those, Chase Briscoe. A young kid out of Mitchell, Indiana. Grew up in the open wheel ranks, just like his dad, Kevin. But he quickly graduated to stock cars. He's an ARCA champion. Last year won in the Camping World Truck Series and today starting 18th for Jack Roush at Atlanta. Let's go from the driver's seat and talk to Chase. If we can get a word with Chase. Hey, Chase Briscoe, it's Michael Waltrip, Chase Elliott, and Adam up here in the booth. Do you copy, friend? Thank you, sir, Michael. Well, the last time we saw you in NASCAR, you were in a truck in Florida and you won. Can you win in a car in Georgia today? We're going to certainly try. It's uh, definitely been a big learning curve all weekend, trying to figure out how to everything next to any cars drive. But uh, Mike Kelly and all the guys are around. So, uh, definitely been working hard all weekend, so we'll try and see what we can do. I think a place like home center where the groove will move around a lot with loose tires. So uh, it should be a fun one. And hopefully we can get a front. Awesome. Hey, buddy, it's Chase Elliott. Uh, just, I had a question for you asking about um, just the biggest difference or the biggest hurdle from you coming uh, in your dirt background to these stock cars. You've had a little bit of time under your belt now. What's the biggest thing you've struggled with, and uh, how have you adapted to that? Yeah, the biggest thing is just the length of the races. Obviously, 30 laps in the sprint car. And, uh, you know, these races are 200 miles, so that's been a big thing. And that's just the biggest thing otherwise other than that, the, the weight. You know, these things are 3,400 pounds. harder to make turns, so uh, it's been the challenge, and uh, today's biggest thing has been side force compared to the truck that's been in, so um, hopefully learn a lot today and it's finish all the last. Awesome, buddy. Y'all have a great, great day, and uh, good luck. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. He's got the right car, number 60 more wins in the history of the Xfinity Series than any other number. Let's go pit side and get Regan's wrap. Hello. On board with Chase Briscoe. Working that high lane on the restart. Somebody leaking something, Adam? Hard to tell, but it sure looks like it. I bet it feels Look like on that onboard camera there. I bet it feels like that every lap, right, Chase? It does <laughs> here, that's for sure. There's no rain today, so it's definitely not uh, not the way. Surely there's going to be some differences from one race team to another. Different personnel, cars maybe drive differently could definitely play into his hands is to maybe learn a little bit more than some guys that potentially would typically just drive one race car all year. Chase Briscoe appears to be learning quite nicely to the inside of Spencer Gallagher. That's for position. Briscoe up to 15th. Just behind those guys, Dylan Lupton in the top 20, doing a good job in that 28 car. A little better. Three drivers going to share the 60. Cindric, who drove it last week. Briscoe here today. We'll also see Ty Majeski, who made a few starts for Jack Roush one season ago. Cindric running the full schedule between the 60, the 12, and he'll also pilot that 22 from time to time. Yeah, just such an interesting dynamic. I've never seen that before. So uh, I guess the folks at Ford are, you know, trying to work all their options to keep their drivers racing all season long and uh, great opportunities for the drivers. Great this battle here. Position. Yeah, great battle late in the race. Spencer Gallagher's figured out the high lane. Chase Briscoe down on the lower side trying to get around Spencer. 